This video will cover the processor installation procedure for the LGA 2011 socket, followed by the installation of the Intel RTS 2011 LC liquid cooling solution. The independent loading mechanism, or ILM, is used to achieve proper pin loading to deliver consistent pressure across the socket. The ILM includes the ILM frame, load plate, hinge lever, load lever with the load cam, and removable ILM cover. The load plate has markings showing which lever is used first when either opening or closing the socket. There is also an interlocking feature to ensure the proper lever sequence is used. To prepare the socket for processor insertion, first unlatch the hinge lever. It is important not to open this lever past the resistance point at approximately 35 degrees, otherwise the ILM can be damaged. Now unlatch the load lever and press down on the hinge lever to lift the load plate. Once the load plate is raised, carefully grip the front and open it fully. Never touch the socket contacts at any time when the contacts are exposed, as this could cause damage. When handling the processor, never touch the underside components or the contact lens. Align the processor to the socket, matching up the pin 1 indicators. Then carefully lower the processor into the socket. Make sure the processor is properly aligned in the socket. The pin 1 and 4 keying features line up and the processor corners are fully seated in the socket. Now carefully close the load plate with ILM cover over the processor and latch the load lever. The ILM cover is designed to automatically unlatch and pop off. If the ILM cover does not fully pop off, remove it manually. Then close and latch the hinge lever to complete the processor installation. With the processor installed, the standard RTS 2011 AC heatsink can be used. But for those seeking a high-performance installation, the Intel RTS 2011 LC liquid cooling solution is the better choice. The Intel RTS 2011 LC liquid cooling solution is made up of the following parts. The cooling assembly consisting of the pump, radiator, connecting hoses, and wiring. The fan assembly. A circular hold-down bracket with adjustable feet. Two sets of large fasteners. For LGA 2011 installation, the shorter set is used. Thermal interface material, or TIM. And screws of various lengths for different installations. This kit has the option of installing over an existing chassis fan, but for this video, only the included fan will be used. First, install the included fan assembly on the hose side of the radiator using the mid-length screws. Position the fan assembly so the power cable is next to one of the hoses. Before installing the hold-down bracket, Make sure that the outside markings on the feet show LGA 2011. If not, rotate the foot 180 degrees. With the feet in the correct orientation, place the bracket over the socket and processor, lining up the four feet to the heat sink attachment points. Insert the fasteners through the bracket and screw in until they just catch. The bracket needs to be loose so the pump flanges can fit between the bracket and socket. Apply the TIM to the top of the processor. Position the pump over the processor, lining up the flanges on the pump to the openings on the hold-down bracket, rotate it a little counterclockwise of the correct orientation. Then lift the bracket and rotate the pump clockwise so the flanges slide under the bracket teeth. With the pump lined up under the bracket, tighten the hold-down screws in a cross pattern to lock the pump into place. Position the radiator and fan assembly inside the chassis where the chassis fan was originally located. Line up the screw holes on the chassis with the holes on the corners of the radiator and insert the four shorter screws, with washers if needed, through the outside of the chassis into the radiator to mount it in position. 
With everything installed and clearances checked, connect the fan power cable to the corresponding connector coming from the pump. Then connect the power cable from the pump to the CPU fan power header on the motherboard to complete the installation. For more information, go to intel.com slash support slash processors.